Over. There are... This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Galatasaray, and they take on Fenerbahce. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. And the starting 11 for Galatasaray. Well, they're playing with two up front, but they have different roles. The main striker has to use his pace to run behind the defence. The second striker is trying to find pockets of space to receive the ball and get himself turned. It's a good combination, I think. And here's the Fenerbahce lineup. Well, they're set up to be solid defensively. Two banks of four, staying as compact as possible, but it might just leave the front to a little bit isolated. The wide players will need to break forward as quickly as possible. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Rashica. Boy. Lucas Torreira now. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Luan Perez. Perez well for understandable reasons we're focusing on Dries Mertens a highly talented player what sort of performance do you think he has in him today Stuart well he's the most creative player on the field he can run with the ball he can get himself out of tight situations he can see a pass he's very creative with his play I think he's going to be the outstanding player today Chance to run at them. Can he put them in front? Bowie. Shielding the ball superbly. It needs an accurate cross. Mauro Icardi here. Real chance. Full credit. Wonderful stop. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. This to open the scoring here. And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Salai. Well, very effective play in possession. 
of possibilities inside the box. Luan Perez. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Icardi. Mertens. And space here on the flank. Chance to cross. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Batshuayi. Firing it towards goal! Oh, he saved it well. Well, no surprise there. Galatasaray have been second best in terms of possession, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Ener Valencia. Irfan Chan Cavecci. Well, taken away. He won the ball. Mauro Icardi here. And attempting the through ball. In it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! Blistering first-half display, and just look at that score. And there goes the whistle. That closes the book on the first half here at Old Trafford. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Aktur Kolu. Mertens. Can they convert? Didn't fool the keeper. Favouring the short one. And delivered into the box. Simple catch, really. Really good challenge. A foul, but advantage played. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And he takes it on. Well, able to close down the shot. Just the challenge that was required. Arau. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Bardacci. Icardi. Oh, good vision. And he might be in here. In it goes! Such a 
such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. And well, that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. And he did well to cut it out. And it will be goalkeeper's ball. Icardi. And it's a quality pass. Rashica. And take it away. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Torreira. And on the ball, Sergio Oliveira. Well, the pass not finding its target. Icardi. And you don't want to lose possession there. Irfan Chan Kevici. Five minutes left for play, and all pretty decisive. He takes aim. Well, fantastic reflex action. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. And he's fired over the corner. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, no damage done. Into the advanced position. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Rashica. Is it going to be a goal? We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there it is. Full time. They are the Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go. The Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff.